you know, it's thinking about, um, you know, when you see tragedies around the world, disasters, um, it's heartbreaking when you see those things around the world. And it's challenging to know what to do with them, um, you know, how to handle them, because it's not necessarily in your back, back door and you're not living through it. Um, and I, I think, you know, the challenge I struggle with is how do you, what is the best course of action giving that that happens, right? You know, I, I see sort of one perspective as being cold hearted and, you know, not acknowledging anything, I guess. It's not really, and this is the thing where I wanted to sort of, the, the other challenge is that, you know, perhaps the best for society is to often keep going forward um, and, you know, realize that it's something that's awful that, that has happened, but just keep going forward. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's where it's like, and the reason why is that, um, you know, if everybody was to rush to recovery efforts and, and those kind of things, um, you know, there'd be no, you know, if you take that sort of, that, that thought experiment, there'd be nobody doing this stuff that's day to day that needs to get done to, you know, tackle bigger, larger problems. Kind of what happened, you know, we saw a very real situation, real case of that happening with COVID where, you know, we, the world shut down temporarily, which caused supply chain problems universal for years, right? Across the board, a couple of years, um, you know, maybe three years of supply chain problems where there were shortages, you know, repeatedly. And because we were, you know, we had to shut down and react to it, which at the time was the right thing to do. Um, but in the long run, it also caused a lot of problems from doing that and a lot of challenges from doing that. Um, and we have to recognize that if you don't keep going and you don't get up um, and just keep doing the same old every day, then, you know, nothing really does get accomplished and we have more, you know, persistent problems in the long run because of that. And, and I, you know, struggle to know what you should do, right? And particularly in terms of, you know, there's, there's, we have a certain amount of resources to go around. Um, and those certain amount of resources, you have to sort of choose to use them wisely. And I, I don't know what the right answer is often with that. And I even think about like, you know, this, this is the same problem that, administrators have to go through, right, where they're looking or, you know, I guess it is just administrators, right? It's not, not managers or financial CFOs and stuff to choose what to allocate funds to. And some of the funds are not the best well spent, but they're meaningful. Um, and they're meaningful in a way that, that's helpful. Right. And and you can think about the sort of efficiency of, of things, but then you also think about, you know, the broader perspective of things. And and that's where I'm really stuck with handling, you know, what is the right thing to do in these circumstances whenever you see a disaster? Because it's I mean, there's there's disasters that happen on a regular basis. Right? It's not something that is completely irregular, um, that there isn't some form of disaster. So how do you handle that? What do you do? I don't know, to be honest. That is a ethical conundrum, I guess. That's not straightforward where there is like an easy answer. Um, 
where everybody's philosophy is different uh, in how to handle this and what to do. And depending on your philosophy, you're probably right. Um, you know, depending on how you view the world or your connections, you're probably right. And everybody is viewing it in that sort of way too, right? Like how you deal with it and how you process it is your individual thing. Um, and, you know, like ultimately, I think that's all we have is in those circumstances, what, what are you supposed to do? Um, you know, I, I think about the, you know, the, the places that shut down and didn't shut down for COVID and knowing what the right thing was to do. And, um, you know, we, we had a, an understanding, I guess, of what the right thing was to do. But then in the long run, um, you know, economically, what did that mean for the longer term consequences of things? And how long, how long can you sort of go limp along? And I think that's the question. And that's the sort of challenge that everybody faces and everybody, you know, I struggle with dealing with that in terms of what is the right course of action. And frankly, I don't think that there is a right course of action. Um, and just acknowledge it um, and, and move on. I think, you know, however you deal with it, move on and however you deal with it and however you feel about it is, is probably right. Um, right for you. And, and I think that's the thing to sort of process. And, you know, thinking about the sort of tragedy of COVID, you know, it was probably the right thing to do however you chose to do it for you at that moment. Um, and, you know, it's a big ask to get everybody to do nothing. Um, and that is a ginormous ask. And as soon as they had, you know, appropriate tools to fight that, vaccines and medications and things like that, um, I think that's all you can possibly ask people to sort of persist with the discomfort of it all. Um, I think that's it, because it's all just whatever you can possibly do for the given moment. And it was upsetting for me, very upsetting. Um, what do you do? Right? Like that was the right thing for everybody in terms of what they could possibly withstand. So anyways, just some really random thoughts I was thinking about how do you process outside disasters? Um, honestly, it's, it's the right thing for you at the time and how to deal with it and how to handle it. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.